happy Sunday. I'm so excited for this week's vlog. We're hosting a dinner party and we are prepping for London. This weekend, I've just been home. It's actually been pretty productive. I ran up to North Park yesterday, which is my favorite mall in the entire world in Dallas. And I picked up a couple of things and it was the Abercrombie sale. It was so crazy. I got some new little long chomp bags. These are the cosmetic ones. I've been getting a lot of questions. I have a ton. I just did a whole TikTok on my long chomp collection. This one I got on the real real. All of these beads are from Amazon. I'll have it on my storefront on Amazon so you guys can see exactly what I'm Using, but I have this one and then I bought this one for my birthday and I love these two this one's a little bit bigger I love this size because it's still a small bag, but it fits my vlog camera, which is my um, What I need because I am a vlogger. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Love this one I got this one. It's a little bit bigger, but I still really like it at the store I really wanted the Navy bigger because these are so cute, but it just sucks when I can't bring my vlog camera when I'm out and about. They didn't have that size. I got this one. It's the biggest of all of them. I might end up returning this one. It's kind of like a blue-gray. It's gray, but to me it looks a little blue. I like the strap. That's kind of nice. If I don't end up styling it um, for London, I will end up returning it. But I feel like I would get use out of this. I don't know. Long chop bags are, are it, guys. They are so cute. They're so on trend. They're fabulous. They don't break the bank. I love them. So anyways, today we are going to set the table for the dinner party. I am going to an event with Divi, so I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting like a scalp massage thing, and I need to just get some stuff done. Productive, productive week. It's just going to be such a fun week, so if you guys are in here, subscribe. In celebration of a fabulous week, I just door dashed myself Hudson House for lunch. I need to go grocery shopping, but since I'm going out of town, like, I don't know. Here's my outfit, by the way. Love these shoes. They're my favorite shoes ever. I've been like killing it on TikTok lately guys like I've been quite the TikToker not to brag not to brag, but I really have This table it looks so good I'm so happy with how it came out if you guys are hosting a dinner party you absolutely have to have to have to set the table days in advance hosting a dinner party can be a lot of work and I'm actually working with this isn't a sponsored video so this I'm actually working with anyways it's not sponsored not paid anyways um, I'm working with Kapari it's like the Kapari canopy launch so basically they like gave me a stipend and they're sending a private chef to my house to host the dinner party and then I'm giving gifting all of my guests like the new products and stuff so it's like in celebration of their launch which is really exciting so I had like a William Sonoma basically stipend which is like the best thing ever anyways hosting a dinner party normally I, I don't normally have a private chef I don't know about you guys. Um, it is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Number one tip as far as like prep goes, you need to have all of this done days in advance. Like it's Sunday, I always do it the week before. If I have extra time in the week, like I will do it a week out. It doesn't matter, it also looks good in your living room or your dining room. Like part of me wants to just keep this 24 seven, but honestly I, I work at this dining table, so I don't know about that. For Christmas decor, like I will have this set in the way that I'm going to do Christmas. How will I do that? I'm not quite sure. I went so crazy, I literally switched chairs out today. So anyways, I'm really happy with this. I think it's so cute. Oh, Fitz, you're so perfect. Sunday evening, I just showered. I got Keller's cheeseburger for dinner. There's nothing better if you know you know. Little root beer 
and I'm gonna watch a podcast. It's so peaceful in here. No, it's gonna be so fun. Just think about how much fun we're gonna have in this sunrise, it's gonna be a sunrise run. I can't wait for this sunrise with you. I know, it'll be so fun. Okay, well, I'll see you in like 20 minutes. Okay. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Who would have thought this would be me? Not me. So today on my 10K training, I have my longest run yet, which is 5.6 miles. It's currently five. <laughs> Tabby just sent me the song. I hate it here. She was all about this run yesterday. 5.56 currently. We're gonna run before the sun is even up, but that's the only time that works in our schedules. I'm leaving, as you know, for London this week. Then she's leaving for California, and Tabby is my running buddy. Tabby is way better at running than I am. She shouldn't even be complaining right now because my pace is like minutes behind her. So it's really just such a, it's barely a jog, you know? Eat my iced coffee, oh God. Full scoop of free workout. This is key. I, I do coffee and pre-workout before these runs are. It, but on days that I run and weight lift, which is today. This is my favorite one. Rainbow Snow Cone powder is so good. It's my last run for a bit. Come on in, bud. I'm gonna have a single piece of sourdough. Take a good long look at me. This is the last time you guys will see me before. My longest run ever. You know what, I think I'm gonna put a shirt. Oh. I was gonna put a shirt on, but I forgot it at home. I was playing worship, so God himself will get me through this run. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm actually not kidding at all. <laughs> it's a good thing that I think I'm funny, you know? Ooh! We're on our 5.6 mile run, my longest yet. Potentially six, we'll see. <laughs> Four miles, two to go. I'm kind of killing it today. Well, I'm running really slow, my shoes hurt, but I'm still doing it, and I'm not completing it. But I'm doing a great job. But I'm killing it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna worry about it, but <sighs> it feels good. Like I'm not dying yet. Oh my gosh, it's so hard being better than everyone else no, every single day. No, it's so hard being better than everyone. <laughs> How are we feeling? Good. Honestly, runs are easier than like most others. Okay. I don't know why. Like speed feeling good. Thing. I'm gonna give you some rapid fire questions. Okay. Okay. If you were to join a cult, what cult? I've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And how high up do you think if you get this? I could definitely lead it. You think so? Uh, yeah, I think I'm convincing enough. Okay, that actually works out well because I think I'd be a prime number two. And Macy would be a personality higher. Like, I don't want to be the leader because I don't want to be the one to like Macy would be a down. recruiter. I'd be behind the scenes. She'd be like the puppet. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. But she would definitely like disobey me. She would like do things that I didn't approve. And then, like, when everyone else is trying to disobey, she'd be like, it's fine. She literally won't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm, like, fuming. My fists are up. <laughs> yeah. I'm red in the face. How am I supposed to run a cult when no one was in? Literally. God. So Macy would ruin the cult. And then Macy would use it as her claim to fame and sell it to Netflix with the dog. Yes! She would. She'd be like, I was an inside person. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks for coming. Okay. <laughs> yes, long to run. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you gotta pay this job attack, so. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Guys, I just ran six miles. Long runs to me are so much easier sometimes than even 5Ks. Like, Tabby and I were talking about this. I feel like you just kind of get more into the zone. I'm gonna go home and change. I have weightlifting after this. Sometimes I have to fit it in on all on one day. <sighs> but I'm so proud of myself and I feel so good. <laughs> While I'm on a roll, I'm just going to do all the yard work I've been putting off, which is getting rid of some 
plans, some things we have going here. I have therapy in an hour and 15, and I want a sauna. So I'm gonna try to clean up the yard. I'll set a timer for like 30 minutes, actually 20 minutes. It'll make me go faster, obviously. Okay, this is so depressing looking. Onions are still going. So sad back here. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But soon enough, we'll have our fall garden. By the end of the month is the goal. I'm replacing these, um, why can't I even think of the name? These hoses, they're awful. I've gone through two. I got this silver bullet hoses because they keep, they keep bursting, so you have to wear literal gloves with the new ones that I got, but they're not gonna break. So that's fine by me. I'll have to set them up. I've just been putting that off. I mean, so sad. All right, y'all, I just had the most productive morning in my life. If you're a runner, how do you get your hair to not knot? And like, yes, I can put it in a bun, but then I lose all volume and I don't wanna wash my hair every day. I need to know the hacks. In Pilates and stuff, I will just let it dry, which is like gross, but I don't know, I need all the running hair hacks because I haven't nailed it and my hair just looks awful all the time. I need to put some oil and stuff in here. We'll get there. I'm wearing a very comfortable work from home outfit. I have facials today as a London prep and then I think I'm actually gonna go test drive some cars, um, but I'm working from home before that. So anyways, this shirt is a Jack Find. Eight dollars, guys, from Target and it's possibly the best just like white t-shirt i got it in gray too and i want it in every single color i got four or five in white because it's eight dollars literally eight dollars at target i'll link it below um and i don't think i'll ever wear another white t-shirt ever again these are so good and then these pants are the macy's like slacks that feel like pajama pants that i always tell y'all about they're macy's on fifth they're a podcast sponsor and i have them in navy as well they are the best pants ever because it feels like you're wearing sweatpants but you're dressed up and then I just have these white belly flats from Revolve and that is that. I cannot get over the fact that I ran six miles, guys. I'm so proud. Like that might not be a huge deal to you. I feel like six miles is quite an accomplishment. If you're even running half a mile, like that is an accomplishment. I'm just so not a runner. I'm just not a natural runner girl. And I cannot believe that I did it. I feel so proud of myself. Like I have been like on a high all morning, probably also because I took pre-workout and had coffee. I've gotten so much stuff done. I've had the best morning ever, but I'm just so proud of myself. Like it's crazy. I got hydrofacial and microneedling so my skin is really red. I'm not going on a walk in the morning though so that my redness will go down. I was an idiot and you're not supposed to work out for 24 hours after you get microneedling and I just wanted to go on a nice brisk walk and it was 100 degrees and I came back and my skin was so red for days. So. We'll be staying in tomorrow. Um, I just ordered yogurt land. I'm gonna lay in bed tonight. I am just a bed girl. Like I wanna be in bed at all times. Right here, this is where I wanna be. I wanna be here more than anywhere else in the world. I have to be honest with you. needling update it's not bad at all last time um my skin was a lot more red but we've already we've already gone there okay every day this little juice cup brings me more and more joy i ordered all of the halloween themed ones and i can't wait for the christmas ones to come out guys like these are a collector's item at this point i wish that i could get my hair to look like how it looks 
when my sister does it. My sister does my hair and my color and extensions, which is great and all until it's like your sister and you guys are arguing and then you need your nail your hair done. You know what I mean? If you guys are in Dallas and you're looking for someone, Madison Piper hair, she just moved to a new salon and it's so calming. I hated where she worked a couple years ago. They actually just shut down. The salon was just like a bad vibe. The energy was just off. Anyways, she has a new salon in Dallas. I vlogged it like recently. It's her own salon. Very proud of her, she's so good. But also, all about to say, you know, naturally sisters argue. So I have a hairstylist who like does my hair and stuff for shoots or like live shows and stuff. And I was talking to her and I was like, I think I need like a backup person because like my sister hates me right now. So I'm not, I don't know if I can come. They were like, listen, I do a lot of girls hair in Dallas and I would not leave your sister. Your hair is the best and the healthiest. And I love my sister. It's not that I didn't want to go there. It's just if you have a sister, you understand. So it's not just me. And I got my hair done from a diff billion different people over the years before she started doing hair and living in LA. And she's the best. I don't know why we're on a hair rant. It's a Wednesday, Tuesday morning. Anyways, I've been in meetings all morning. I've been kind of setting things up around the house. We had the dinner party tonight. I have another meeting right now. And then um, we're shooting some podcast stuff. I'm gonna frame some things for the hosting closet, which I think is gonna be so cute. And then we just need to get some prep done. I'm really excited. Hi! Hi. Sorry, my laptop's like broken. All right, guys, look at how cute this looks. I'm going to do all of this shelf probably in different, oh, I didn't even explain this. I'm framing photos of different things I've hosted in my home. These are actually both friend of mine shoots. They're some of my favorite pictures. That's me, Liz. That's Macy. That's Tess. They're really cute. And I love them. So anyways, I used command strips. I made it so much easier. It took two seconds. That's what I need to be using for everything. I don't need a hammer. I need command strips. So anyways, it looks so cute in here. Spent like two hours in here recording. I vlogged nothing. I forgot. I'm kind of in a time crunch now. I'm setting up our little entry area with some of the Kapari extra products. The girls have gift bags here, so we don't really need them, but it's more so just to see. All right, y'all, it's time to get ready for the dinner party tonight. I basically just worked from home all day. I got this new dress from Cezanne, and I am in love with it. It's so cute, and it's perfect for hosting a dinner party. I look so mature, you know? Here's the dress. I'm not loving my hair. Like something just feels off. My favorite Sam Edelman sling box. And then I have these earrings on from SC Collection that I love. The dress is cute. I don't know, something is throwing me off. Like yeah, it's giving like a Sunday, almost like Mother's Day look, but it's like kind of supposed to. Okay, I put on these red kitten heels, and these are giving less grandma Sunday service. it feels like a Thursday. I just made my coffee. The dinner party was so good last night. Anyways, tonight I leave for London. I'm really excited. I hope this is like literally the best trip of my life. No pressure, but I really do. I my workout, I have a couple interviews. Jack's coming back over and we're gonna style the rest of my fits for London and pack. 
and then I have another meeting, and then I have a blowout, and then I need to leave for the airport at like 8 p.m. I'm taking the 11 p.m. flight, and I land in London tomorrow at 2.15. I'm in my office. I'm taking some calls this morning. Final styling, planning, packing session. My new, I don't know if I talked about, did I talk about this when I was vlogging on my YouTube channel? No. I got my first three of the new Halloween juice cups from Anthropology. Made my entire life. I filmed an unboxing and I accidentally deleted half the footage. So we're going to film one once the other ones come when I get back. Oh, I need to set up my air tag. I love this. And then, yeah, these will be cute and they'll, I'll leave them in the car. Yeah, so cute. Like, let's see. Oh my God, and it's so cute for London, oh, especially. Yeah, it's very London. Oh my God. Like, it's so <gasps> perfect. Oh, I love I mean, I'm definitely not gonna be wearing these to eras, but but you have like to I'll wear them for the photos. Like, yeah, this is oh so cute. Oh my gosh! Cute. I love. Okay, obsessed. Wait, let's pick out your jewelry. Okay, hold this one up. Let's do those. Okay, perfect. These are literally my favorite. I love these. SC these collection. are from Essie Collection too. Everything that I love is Essie Collection right now. Love. Okay, let me take a little picture so. Okay, I'm so excited for this look. And then we know these look good. Yeah, these will be for actually the concert. Yeah, this feels yeah, I like for this. me. But they still do kind of feel like, they feel almost like very like Levi, like Wrangler. Wrangler. They're yeah. like my Wranglers that I was wearing the other day. Yeah. Which I think is cute on you. Yeah, I like that. It's just- Me too. What Let's shoes am I doing, Valley Fots? Well, this is a nighttime look. Got so it. you can Heels. probably get away with a heel. Yeah, that would be better for this. Yeah, because I like where they, because they're straight. Yeah, I like having this. a little heel like shows off the jean how yeah. it's supposed to be. Yeah, I like this. Cute, cute, very flattering. I'm like not me falling. <laughs> I kind of like it. What if you can you tie that silk scarf on it? I love this top. It's so good on you. It's so hard for me to find tops that I love. How big are your boobs? Like double D. Because I need to tell my other clients about this shirt because yeah. it fits you so good. And it doesn't feel like, that's the issue with having like a larger chest is that sometimes it just feels like it looks like I'm trying yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. not. No, you know what I mean? Looks like, it's like, that's it's not like the so vibe good. I'm trying to give off right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know? When you wear, how do you feel about the Capri trend? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, I can't like. I'm not going to the clubs in this no, one. No, no you know? club in this. No club. Are you gonna go to club there? No. I mean, actually, maybe, but <laughs> I want to go to like. No. I don't like clubs. Yeah. Same. I wish these were darker. I like that. I this outfit. I like to be darker. Wait, are these? Oh, <gasps> they're not my size. I was also like, these are. They're tiny. five and a half. No. <laughs> oh, that thing's so tiny. No, like literally, it's not even like. <laughs> Not even possible. Dang it. This is the world's best dress that's ever existed. Ever. It's actually crazy how Reformation could do this. Yeah, I know. I've already um like, what told are they two other clients about this dress. Yes. You got it. It's the best. If you don't want to wear tights during the day, you don't have to. And this is like a bonus outfit. You already have a yeah. Dress. So this, this is cute. And these shoes are like easier to Yeah. Well it's like as backup, should I just wear a valley flat? Yeah, that's because what they say. This because it holds if it's a daytime look, it holds my camera. Yeah. Okay. packing now we've gone through every single outfit taken our photos are ready to go this is the most prepared I've ever been for a trip ever in my life and we're doing a second suitcase sometimes it's nice to have a carry-on though when you're going around the airport and you have to put your tote bag on your yes. arm you know that's what it's well I'm actually convenient I mean, I agree. thank God I'm wearing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight pairs of shoes for five days. Honestly, that's not Listen, that bad. Like, it it's could basically ten days because you change. <laughs> that's so true. So, we're eating the most out of this trip. Oh, we're wearing those on the plane. Yeah, so nine. Okay. It's like maybe I want this in my carry-on. Yeah, because there's nothing that's 
Yeah. If you this bag, that. this specific Sony Clover bag is amazing for it's travel. Cute. It's like the only one that I bring for. Um, oh, that's nice. I like how it has the other side. Yeah. And I like, I'm just making sure everything's on it. Didn't they send you, what did you take to the lake house? This and that duffel bag. The duffel bag is so cute. I'm just making sure everything's under. Am I out of this? If it is, we can I'm supposed to have another. It's fine. I'm going to put this in my carry-on. Okay, then we can. Now the bags. <sighs> One, well, two. Well, actually, these could lay in there. One, two, three. Oh, the belt. Here we go. Oh, there's oh, your light. The light. We've been looking for that. <laughs> Isn't it 70 pounds and not 50 for international? Yeah. It is. I think, right? I don't know. I make Am a line to myself. Wait, this way? <laughs> All right, y'all, I got a really crazy big blowout because I'm trying to make this last for as long as possible. And we're just gonna have to see how this works out. My luggage is ready to go. I'm, pre I'm pretty much set to go. I'm off to London. I'm wearing set active pajamas and my trench coat. I'm so excited. Stay tuned for the next vlog. If y'all are watching this, like actually in real time, I'm sure it's all over Instagram and TikTok if you care to see us at London Eras, but I love y'all and I will talk to you in my next vlog.